Are you happy? I still can't get over how much of a giant I look beside you. Like, I know I'm a chunky woman, but like. Ah. That's better. Right? A bit, right. Hi guys, and welcome to our Iceland series. And we are here in Manchester. Why we're in Manchester is quite simple. It's the fact that we've uh, travelled how many miles today? 360 something. Really that much? No. Yeah. 285. Yeah, so um, we've travelled here because the flight times from Manchester were so much better from any of the Scottish airports mm -hmm. and so much cheaper. We ended up getting the this hotel. How much did we pay for this hotel? 60 quid. Yeah, price on the screen now, about 60 odd quid. We're staying here tonight because we've got an early on flight, travelling from Manchester because um, it was cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, how much was the flight? To be fair, it was a package deal we got. It was like 500? £500. £501 each. each. And that was the flight from Manchester. Accommodation. Accommodation. Breakfast in the morning. Every and morning. And airport transfers. And yes, yeah, transfer this is in Iceland. Yeah. So that's all part of the package. Yeah, it also included cases. Oh yeah, it was 23 kilo cases each and a small bag, so that's... Yeah. Uh, we normally travel with a small bag. Yeah, so that's really good. So our plan tomorrow is to drop the car off at the airport in Manchester and fly and get to... Rakovic? Keflavik. Keflavik. Kef. Kef. La. La. Vic. Vic. She's going to be naming <laughs> all the places while we're no, not. Have you seen <laughs> some of them? <laughs> Vic. I can do that one. But tonight... We have a good job of dropping these cases off, right? Um, we didn't find out until like yesterday, yesterday, yesterday yeah. that they have a late night drop off for big luggage, which is going to be super handy for us because we have a six o'clock flight tomorrow. Six yeah, a.m. So, yeah. So we just so take it's the bus. Twilight dropage. Yeah. So we're going to take the bus from the Premier Inn, which we are right now, which is the airport Premier Inn, mm -hmm. um, the newer building after the two. They're right next to each other. Um, one's called South, one's called North. We kind of just took a guess. And we just what hoped, we were saying. <laughs> went to the self check in. It's like, yep, yeah, this is the right one. Yeah. It's nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I feel like they probably just let you. What, just, just, just stay the one that you arrive at? <laughs> Literally, if I just point my camera out the window, you can see the other one, can you? Oh, no, we can just no, see we're on the other side of the oh, building. We can just yeah. see a car park out of our window. So, if you've seen the episode before this, you will know that um, we tell you all the things that you should and shouldn't do in Iceland. If you haven't seen that, then check it out. The rest of this episode, we're going to be in Iceland, well, get into Iceland, and showing you some of the cool things and how expensive it is to actually get to Iceland. So this is Holly's case, in case you want to know what to pack for Iceland. Uh, Holly will run you through it now. What have you got, Holly? I've got... Just a rough, what you got? Four pairs of leggings, five jumpers, eight t-shirts, two dressy... Uh, two, two dresses, I packed two dresses. Um, plenty of walking socks. A walking boots and then a day bag day bag makeup and hair stuff okay. that's why my suitcase is a lot more fuller than Sean's what did I pack oh right and this is what I packed guys my obviously my jacket because why would I not pack my jacket and then he's got um, drone bag with all the stuff it's dark isn't it it's really dark on this side of the room. Um, I've got my drone bag, um, a swimming shorts. You got a swimming costume in there as well. Oh, yeah, I do. Let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. A drone bag which has got my drone in it, but not my drone batteries because I have to travel with my drone batteries in my hand luggage. Um, I've got eight pairs of pants, eight pairs of socks, um, one pair of jeans, one pair of drone bottoms, two thermal leggings, hat, scarf, um, or oh, scarf, snood, um, gloves. Body warmer, oh, two body warmers, a day bag. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've got two. I've got two hats. No, a hat, two earmuffs, and a snood. Oh. And mitts in there as well. So there you go, guys. So that's what you need for us. And oh, that's what we packed. I don't know if we need it. <laughs> and this is my day bag. So as you see, I've got my passports, both of them. The camera, which is actually in here. My tripod that's going in my day bag. My drone batteries. My lactose intolerant pills because, you know, just in, case, just in case I haven't got enough um, pants for the trip. I need those. Um, and a 
battery pack, which is great. Oh, and my new headphones that Holly got me for my birthday. Uh, I'm not going to mention how old I am. It's 30. I'm not 30. Yeah, I'm 29. Um, my birthday is on this trip, and we are going to the Secret Lagoon for my birthday, and also it's Holly's birthday on this trip. Yeah, but I'm only 29. <laughs> and she's... And we're going to the south and we're going to see the black sands and waterfalls and some great things on her birthday as well. So there you go, we've uh, just checked our bags in. Yeah. Um, it's easy enough. It was quite easy, yeah. We um, took it down, it's like five past six now. This airport is really confusing though. There is, it's, we had to get a lift up, up here, the first floor. which can fit a whole car in it. It's a massive lift, so, so we'll take it with the lift down. Um, yeah, so we just sent our bags off, so then tomorrow makes it a bit easier. So this is our first look at the airport. Well, we're gonna, just gonna have some dinner now and um, probably gonna just go to the hotel for dinner, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. And we'll show you our dinner in the hotel, which um, hopefully will be all right. And um, before we go, I'll quickly show you the lift in this airport. And um, I don't know, it's a massive airport. Yeah? We're gonna end up getting on a flight in somewhere in a minute. Yeah. Cool. That's what it feels like. Yeah, it's just like... This could be the one of the most confusing airports I've ever been no. to. Uh-uh. What? Um, the one in Florida. The one in Florida's bad, is it? Oh, oh. Right, these are the lifts. I've got to show you the lifts before I go, because they are like... You know... Massive. I think you can drive your car through here, right? Drive your car through here, and then get in the lift and take it down to the first floor. So that was a uh, dinner at the uh, time in Premier Inn. Mm -hmm. So what did you think of it, Holly? It was a waste of my time. So what happened? Well, we had to have a booking, apparently, for a restaurant that had like eight, nine tables empty. And was like, cool, whatever, we made a booking for an hour after the fact. So we come up to the room and then we're like, right, we'll go down for dinner. And then he takes us to the table and gives us a little slip <laughs> of a, I don't want to talk to you, here's what we don't have today. <laughs> Which is fair enough, yeah. okay. So how, how long did it take for then for someone else to come see us? 15 minutes. 15 minutes for someone else to come see mm. us. To take a drink order or a food order. So when they came over, we're like, yeah, can we have this for food and to drink? Cause... And then Sean's pasta was cold. Oh yeah, my pasta was cold. So like, it was really hot on one side and cold on the stone Chef cold, like, made it. like out of a fridge cold. Mm. Like, it, So I hadn't obviously been One half of the microwave hasn't worked. Yeah. <laughs> so I just said to the girl, the manager. It was the manager. Yeah. The manager. The manager was cleaning a table, which is apparently all she does. Oh yeah, she did that for an hour. Um, At nine o'clock, she was still cleaning yeah. tables. Where you, during a rushy period, she was cleaning tables for. You called her over and you were like, "Look, sorry, but this is hot and cold." And she just snatched it off the table and was like, mm, "Oh, I'll go get you a new one." It's like you're not sorry. No, nothing. Like I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry about that. Would you like anything else, or can I get you the same again? Then she comes over and she's like, it'll be four or five minutes. Again, no sorry. The poor girl, the one that was originally serving us. like yeah. Literally running around while yeah. everyone else was just like literally looking at them, like playing their farms and just like staring up into space. Chocolate, chocolate teapots. Chocolate teapots. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah. She knew as well because when we were leaving, she kind of gave you the, like, the mm. face. And I'm like, yeah, you hate your job. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, we wouldn't recommend going to the... We'll take a picture of the receipt and we're going to probably a good... leave a good review. Well, we will leave a good, good review for the girl that served yeah. Not for the manager so much. I think she might be able to learn how to We're manage. saying this has been our worst meal together. Easily, like, yeah. And we've ate all over the world. Yeah, and we eat in Weatherspoons nine out of ten times. Cause, yeah. And today our hopes wasn't even much. It was just enough to eat just so we can go to sleep before the airport. Yeah for tomorrow we've got to get up at three. It's all we cared about, just edible food. And mine wasn't even edible. Like, this is the first time I've ever moaned with you, isn't it, yeah. for food. So it's not like it's... Yeah, it's southern, we, but not all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Um, right, anyway, anyway, next time you'll see us, we'll be at Manchester Airport. Right, so there you go, guys. We have made it through security, and we're in Manchester right now. Um, it's quite a massive... Um, airport and if you want to know more about this airport then there's a TikTok on the airport on my channel or there will be at some point but for you guys that are still watching this we're going to show you some of the best places to get breakfast in Manchester if anywhere's open if anywhere's open it looks like now everything's <laughs> closed it is what time is it now 
4 a.m.? 4 a.m.? Yeah, we've... Yeah, 5 to 4. 5 to 4. We've got two hours before our flight, so we've got an hour and a half until we need to get to our gate. Hour um, and 20 minutes. Gate yeah. closes at 5 to 8 now. Oh, right, okay then. There you go, guys. Yeah, I'm going to even want to record me there. It's like, nah, leave her alone. Looking forward to Iceland? Sorry. What do you got for breakfast? A bat. A bat? Was it just a sausage bat? What? I've not eaten yet and you're shoving a camera on my face. Yeah. We've got some apple juice as well. I'll show you the breakfast in a second. Holly is not in the mood to be filmed at four in the morning. I don't know why. She should be. She should be like ready to go at all times. I need to sleep because you squirming about. Yeah, because I was worried that I was going to miss the flight. Having dreams about checking my bag in that I did the night before, which was just strange. I checked my bag in about 18 times last night, which is weird because I'd already done it and I was dreaming about checking my bag in, which is weird. Okay, anyway, we'll show you my breakfast in a second. Nice. Um, so Holly got a sausage bat, which I gave one of my hash browns because I'm uh, the ultimate boyfriend. Uh, and talking about ultimate, here's my breakfast, the ultimate breakfast. Alright, okay, we've got All right. 20 minutes. Okay. Breakfast was good. I enjoyed mine. Alright, oh, um, so the next time you'll see us will be in Iceland. Um, I'll just show you just out of the airport and we'll be getting to our transfer. Oh, looking forward to that. Excited. Good morning guys and welcome to Iceland. And it is, the sun is just about to rise. Well, I say just about to. Apparently the sun rises at now half, half ten. ten in the and um, you get like six hours of daylight. So um, a lot of my filming is going to be um, during these hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be quite fun. Um, we've just got here and we, we don't have a clue where we're going. We're looking for the Grey Line tours. Um, we assume that everyone else here is looking for it Mob too. mentality. Yeah, just down with the people. Um, should be here in the next 10 minutes, um, but I don't have a clue. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd update you guys and tell you we're here, but um, we'll let you know when we're on the bus. So we've made it, we've got our drop off. So tell everyone about the transfer and how fun that was. So well, we got on the bus and then wasn't was sure if we were on the right bus or not. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a girl that wanted to know how snow got on the mountaintop. Yeah, how did snow get on the mountain? How did it get up there? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who brought the child along? <laughs> <laughs> she was, it was not a girl, it was a... It she was, was early 20s. Early 20s and she wanted to know how snow got on the mountains. So if anyone knows that, leave a comment below because uh, we'd love to know. Thanks guys. Um, so we're now in the city centre, Main Street. We've just dropped our bags off at the hotel. We will show you around the hotel in a bit, but we're showing you a very, very quick look at the city of Reykjavik. Reykjavik? Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, one thing we did get told today though, it's such a clear day and apparently we don't really get days like this perfect to see the Northern Lights. So we might even do that tonight, but that would be in tomorrow's video if we do decide that. Try and get some food. Um, use the door for this one. This looks like a little nice little cafe. You just have some seats in there. Yeah. Oh, it looks good.
I got hunger, right guys? <laughs> So we got an hour still to kill and uh, we're just down at the uh, seafront area and it, this is like a little boat, a Viking boat. But one thing that we want to do is try out these things here. These are like hop they're called and um, apparently you can just jump on them. We set up our apps and ride on them. Um, let's just see how that goes. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I don't know if it covers this, but you know. So um, we got it going. Um, this is a uh, Holly. I'm gonna go. Watch, watch her face when she comes past. She's gonna be like, <laughs> more power, faster, 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 faster. <laughs> Up the uh, this bit for a bit. I'm gonna put the camera away and I'll probably see you next to the hotel, guys. We're just gonna have a fun for a little bit. So, this is the end of the video for you guys. I'm gonna quickly show you our hotel room for the rest of the next six days and the fact that we have booked the Northern Lights for tonight. So, if you're watching next week's video, you'll get to see that, and that's tomorrow for us. But this is our hotel room. Look at it, it's got double bed own bed in that Holly is ecstatic about. A nice shower. Yeah. This is the Foss, Foss uh, Baron. Baron. What's up? I never brought a shower cap. Oh, we might have to pop and get one. It's not a problem. <laughs> but the best thing about this room, and we have never had a room with a view like this, dominoes right outside. It looks amazing. <laughs> no, look at this. That's the, I don't know if you can see it, it's too light. That is the, the best view you can get in Reykjavik. It's mad. Oh yeah, and there is a Domino's if we need a Domino's. And there's like a fake McDonald's. Well, they're McDonald's. Just down the road. I am super happy. And I will see you guys again 